I was welcoming the First Minister of Wales, Carolyn Jones, to Butte House. We had a very positive meeting about a range of issues of mutual concern and interest. For example, our opposition to repeal of the Human Rights Act, our deep concern about further austerity cuts from the UK government and our shared concern about the prospect of either Wales or Scotland being taken out of the European Union against our will. So it was a constructive meeting uh, where we discussed a range of issues and we'll work together where we can in the interests of people in Scotland and of Wales. A very useful discussion. Uh, we discussed the detrimental effect of uh, an exit from the EU uh, by the UK. We also discussed the uh, very difficult issue of the abolition of the Human Rights Act, which would mean uh, that the constitutions of both Scotland and Wales will be amended uh, without the consent of the people of the two nations. So a lot of common ground that we explored. Well, I think any suggestion that the UK is watering down its commitment to human rights and certainly any suggestion that we're about to come out of or reduce our commitment to the European Convention and Human Rights would both send the wrong message to the rest of the world but also be wrong in terms of reducing the protections that citizens here have. Human rights are hugely important and Karen Jones and I were very clear that we will oppose any attempt to reduce human rights protections. Well, on the EU referendum, I am very firmly of the view that it would be wrong, unacceptable in fact, for Scotland or indeed Wales or Northern Ireland to vote for continued membership of the European Union but to find ourselves taken out because the UK as a whole, down to the weight of numbers in England, have voted to come out. Now, I've put forward a mechanism that SNP MPs in the House of Commons will put down when that bill goes through the House of Commons to guard against that, a double majority provision, so that the UK could only come out of the European Union if each part of the UK agreed to that. And I think that's an important protection against any part of the UK being taken out against our will.